A Bay Area family who survived the Bastille Day horror in Nice, France, has returned home. Cron 4 is getting details about what they say happened that night as a terrorist used a truck to run over hundreds of people. Cron 4's Spencer Blake is here now live in the studio with us. You just spoke with the family. What did they go through? You know, it's amazing. They weren't hurt physically, but you can only imagine what it was like mentally for them because we all remember seeing those images of the first responders coming in, the confusion, the rising death toll there. Well, the Luca family from Walnut Creek saw it all in real time. They say it was almost as confusing as it was terrifying. On the night of the attack in Nice, France, Sarah Luca was with her son and daughter watching fireworks. She took this video from the very promenade where a truck later sped through a crowd of revelers. She even saw that truck, but from about 25 yards away, she couldn't tell anything was wrong. He was driving the zigzag too. Now I know because he wanted to kill probably as, as many as possible. I don't know, I didn't realize that at that time what was going on. I just thought that it was kind, some kind of a patrol. But as soon as the show was over, mass panic set in. The fireworks were making noise too, so um, everybody got confused. From the promenade when the fireworks ended, we turned around and started walking, and then sort of a sudden uh, we just noticed a whole bunch of a group of people, hundreds running, so we already knew that something must have happened. I could hear people screaming and, and crying, but at that time I didn't realize what was happening. The first source to tell Sarah that it was a deadly attack was Facebook. From there, the Lucas started running too, trying desperately to make it back to their hotel. A stranger helped carry six-year-old Nell. They were making an attack, and so everybody was running on my shoe when it fell down. They didn't even think about turning back to find that missing shoe. Even once they got back into their hotel, the family stayed quiet and left the lights off. They had no idea whether an attacker would make another move. The next day, I didn't leave the hotel room. I was so scared. I was terrified and scared, so I don't think I got a safe breath until I left France. Sarah took her kids to her native country of Poland, not knowing until later that 86 people died the night they were there and more than 300 others got hurt. Well, even now, more than a month later, Sarah says she feels a haunting feeling when she sees white trucks like this one. She's still a bit nervous when she goes anywhere there's a large crowd of people. She did tell me, however, that she does hope to actually return to France one day. So, JR Justine, she's not letting that get in the way of, of plans like that. Back to you. Thank you, Spencer.